What's going on guys? So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I built this AI ghostwriter right here that takes top performing tweets in your niche, creates hooks just like those top performing tweets, but with your content, obviously, right? Then also, of course, writes the rest of the tweet body like if you wrote it yourself. So yeah, I built a really basic UI around this, but essentially how it works is you give it a brain dump on a tweet you wanna write about. So, so this is one of my old brain dumps that I did for an old tweet. So like when you first deploy a chat about something, I always do is identify common topics that'll be asked. For example, with a internal chat bed on marketing agency, would be asked this, this, and that, shit like that, right? Uh, the number of inspiration tweets we want to take in. So I just did not one through five, just, just for the sake of this demo, right? So what's going to do here? So it's going to take the top three performing tweets that I pulled in from my database, which I'm going to show you guys how I built this tweet database to do all this, by the way, right? But it's going to be, it's going to take the top performing tweets by like count. And if we want, we can also filter the top performing tweets by a specific topic. So like top performing tweets about AI agents, top performing tweets about AI chatbots, and it ends, shit like that, okay? And again, it's I only I only have these topics because obviously I write about AI shit. But I'm gonna be showing us how to do this yourself with your own specific topics, but for your own specific type of content slash niche. Okay. But yeah, nonetheless, I already hit generate tweets. But how it works is again, it's gonna take it's gonna show you the inspired hook from the top tweet. So introducing Gemini CLI, a light and powerful open source AI agent that brings Gemini directly into your terminal. Introducing a smart chatbot system that categorizes your company's FAQs and flags relevancy to fill knowledge gaps seamlessly. And then it writes out the rest of the tweet like that. Uh, the next one is stop wasting budget on fake data and dead communities. Zenny drives real user growth with the power of AI plus community. Stop guessing employee questions and outdated docs. Our chatbot uses AI to spot knowledge gaps and deliver real answers every time. Once again, it writes out the rest of this tweet. And then for the last example, because again, we set it to three here, right? So what again, what it does is that it takes the top three, because we set it to three, the top three performing tweets. So when I ran this, I didn't send any filters, but it would take the top three performing tweets overall from the database or from the filters that we select, get their hooks, write hooks similar to them for our type of content based off this brain dump right here. And it's gonna write the tweets just like if we wrote it too for the rest of the body. So notice too how if you if you guys know my tweets, it actually comes out kind of like this actually. So before I get into how I actually build this, the last one, this guy collects the best MCP service for AI agents and open sourced all of them. I mapped out the most common chatbot questions for marketing teams and built a system to flag how relevant each answer is automatically. But yeah, before we get into the actual flow of how to build this, the foundation to building this tweet generator right here, you need a tweet database of top performing tweets, which I'm gonna show first, but just to show you guys what it looks like. I didn't run too many, I didn't pull too many tweets in just because again, this is just a fucking demo. But this is essentially a twit, uh, this is essentially like a Twitter database that I built out where it takes in top performing tweets uh, in, my, in my niche. So again, for, my, for me, it's gonna be AI related shit, right? So it, has, it takes in the actual tweet. Uh, we use LMs to pull the hook. We also can we also can flag each tweet for certain topics that we want to identify. So like MCPs, RAG, AI automation, LMs. So these are the ones that I predefined. Okay, and what and I, some of these are empty just because I haven't ran it on the entire database yet. As you can see, some of these talk about AI agents, these tweets, and they get flagged with AI agents, right? Uh, this one's AI agents, chatbots, and automation workflows, and this one seems to be talking about all that shit, I, I assume. Nonetheless, I'm going to show you guys how to create your own set of topics, how using like LLMs and shit like that, that we can like tag these just like on autopilot, right? And of course, here's some metrics that it collects too about the tweet, so like likes, retweets, replies, views. So again, this is like a full database of like viral tweets, like top performing tweets that I built out that is the foundation for building this tweet generator, okay? So the first thing we're going to be going over is how to build the actual database of tweets. So how it works is we're actually going to use uh, twitterapi.io. Shout out to my friend JB right here. I'm too lazy to find the tweet, but he put out like a video showing that how he used twitterapi.io to build like a Twitter database of like top performing tweets in your niche using like a keyword search essentially. So we're going to use the same method actually to build the database with a little sprinkle of my own shit. Okay. But nonetheless, so we put a keyword input. So you need to do shit like for me, again, AI stuff like NADN, AI automations, uh, AI agents, AI machine learning. I don't know shit like that. So it's going to script the top tweets using Twitter API.io. Uh, again, so that's just some easy API documentation that they have here. Just, I just use the advanced search right here. Okay. But nonetheless, that's pretty straightforward. From there on, we have a deduping slash update process because uh, last thing we want is if say we run that, say we run this API again, obviously, to have duplicates of tweets. Like say, what if a tweet is still in like the top performing, right? That's very likely, actually. So what we want to do is it's not shown on here, but Twitter or but Twitter API.io they have an actual like ID that comes with all this, and we just have to match it back if the ID exists in the database or not. And if it does exist, we just update we just update the engagement metrics if there are any changes, which there probably will be. If it's if it's not in here, we just add the tweet into the database, okay? So again, for this database, it's pretty small so far, I only ran it for like 20, because just again, it's just a demo. But nonetheless, from there on, we use an LLM to pull the hook for each of these tweets. So this stuff's very simple. Literally just put the tweet into like an LLM call, like grab the hook, fucking hook. But yeah, that's pretty fucking straightforward. Uh, from there on, right? 
we use LLMs to also categorize the tweets. So, that, so that's what I mean by uh, having it categorize the tags by the topics. Okay, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that at scale. Because yeah, you can use an LLM to say like, here's the tweet. Here's a list of topics with maybe definitions on each topic, like which one does it work with? But like, what if you have like fucking 30 tags that you wanna do? Like there's a good chance it hallucinates, right? So I have a way to have like a consistent tagging process that may not be like 100% accurate, but still gets you like 90% of the way there. So let's go over that. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is actually generate a list of tags that you wanna tag by, okay? So for me, that was like MCPs, RAG, AI automation, LLMs, NADN, hallucinations. But yeah, write out all this, and then also include a definition for each one, okay? This is actually super, super important that you have a well thought out definition for each of these tags. You guys can use fucking ChatGPT to generate these definitions. That's literally what I did, okay? From there on, you wanna throw the tags plus the corresponding definitions into an embedding model. So we're gonna embed these. So if you don't know what embeddings are, essentially it's just turning these texts right here. So each of these, so this shit that I have highlighted, it's turning into a list of numbers where let's just say this equals fucking like, one, two, three, four. Okay. And this, this one, two, three, four represents all this. Okay. And so why do we need this? So this is like turning it into like almost like numbers where like an LLM could understand it. Reason being that this is important to do. Okay. To, like, why do we have to convert this shit into like a giant list of numbers? Cause this list of numbers won't be four numbers. It'll be like fucking like 400 lot. It'll be like a list of 400 numbers that somehow represent using AI magicry to like convert this to, to a list of numbers and somehow represents this. Like the reason why we want to do that is so that it allows us to do a similarity search because uh, the best example of embeddings I always like to give is I like food, right? Let's say this is again, this simple example, right? I like food is one, two, three, four point five or five point six, eight, uh, three point two. Okay, this is what I like food equals. Okay, and then uh, let's say I love to eat, right? Very similar sentence, obviously, right? But obviously not the same exact keywords. Like a, a keyword match won't get this to be the same, right? What embeddings do is they represent meanings of text through these numbers. So although these are different sentences, like like words and letters wise, the embeddings will probably be like maybe just like a 0.5 off or some shit like that. So what you can do is just use some similarity function, which is in most embedding models to compare these two. And if they have a high similarity score, they're usually the same. They're usually very similar text. Okay. So what we want to do is embed all of these. Okay. So again, turn each of these into its own list of numbers, right? And then, and then when a tweet comes through, right? Because again, if we embed all this, right? and it has a high similarity score with a definition for AI chatbots, there's a very high probability that in this tweet right here, right, we're talking about AI chatbots. And again, same for, and this, again, the same applies for every other tag, okay? And again, the same applies for every single other tag. So it's almost like keyword tagging, but it's almost like a matching based off the meaning of the text rather than like an exact keyword matching, which is usually very inconsistent, right? So yeah, we tag all of them, we push them up, we push it up to a vector store. So I just use Pinecone. So you, so you want to store all these giant lists of numbers for each of these definitions in a database, which is, which is what they're, and they're called, these are called vector stores. I use Pinecone. So yeah, nonetheless, we store them all there. And then from there on, kind of what I just showed, we have an in, input a tweet and we want to place some categories on it, right? We get that tweet. We convert it into an embedding. We use we throw it into the embedding model to again convert that tweet into a list, its own list of numbers, and we're gonna get the similarity scores between the input of tweet and all the categories slash its definitions. Okay, and whichever one has a high score. So and here we define it to be fifty percent. Any tag that has a score of fifty percent with this tweet, we flag it. Okay. So yeah, that's how all these tags are generated right here. And again, it's not gonna get you the most accurate answers in the world, but I think I just wanted to show you guys an alternative way rather than, rather than just using an LLM just to like categorize everything. But yeah, guys, in terms of building the database, that's actually the flow to building this entire database. So kind of going back to the first flow I wrote out, it's again, just basing it off keywords. So I'm just throwing you out for me. I would throw shit like NADN, AI agents, AI workflows. Again, I can just think of any keywords possible related to my niche, right? We scrape all the top performing tweets for them using the Twitter API.io. They dupe them, use an LLM to extract the hook, use LLMs to categorize the tweets for the tags. And from there, I just throw into a database like Superbase or whatever it may be, okay? So that's actually very straightforward, okay? In terms of actually generating the tweets itself, the reason why we wanna build this database so that we have a database of hooks, right? Almost like, a, this is pretty much a fucking swipe file, right? This is a database of, of top performing tweets, one, and a database with, and with their hooks extract for every single tweet coming through along with topics that correspond with them. And this allows us to throw into a prompt a lot of context 
of high performing data so that the LM so that the LM can also generate similar content as these okay because at the end of the day your outputs from an AI model will not be will not be will only be representative of the data and context you feed it okay that is like the fucking AI 101 type of thing right so yeah, the whole philosophy here is take the viral hooks from like top performing tweets turn them into our own based on the type of content that we want to write using the brain dump part right so like right over here and then generate tweets based off of that. One thing I want to emphasize also with this AI ghostwriter is that it cannot produce out like banger content for you in a way that you think like at the end of the day, you still have to provide it and like you still have to like know your shit to like actually put out good information for like an audience to actually like fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Like, like these brain dumps, that only comes from you from like knowing your specific niche, being an expert in your field, shit like that. That's just something I wanted to emphasize with all this. Nonetheless, back to the flow. So in terms of generating the tweets, here's how it works, okay? So we have desired filters to take viral hooks from. Okay, so that's kind of like the filters over here. So the number of inspirational tweets, so the number of tweets you wanted to learn from, we want to sort by metrics. So like which, like what is top performing tweets here? Like we want the top three tweets, but like by what metric? Bookmarks, view counts, replies, retweets, retweets, likes, shit like that, right? And it also if we want to filter by like top three performing tweets by bookmarks for that talk about AI agents or that talk about AI chatbots, shit like that, okay? So yeah, so we desire, we define the desired filters to take the viral hooks from, we query the database. So we, so we take the top three tweets that have the highest amount of bookmarks that are tagged with AI agents, let's say, right? And once we input the brain dump on what we want to write about, what ha what goes on in the back end is we embed this, we embed this brain dump. So again, turning that brain dump into its own list of numbers, okay? If you want to use LMs, I highly, highly encourage you, by the way, to learn embedding. Just fucking chat GPT. It's actually not that confusing. And from there on, what it's going to do is get similar tweets from our vector store. So what I mean by that, and I probably should have made another flow from this, but it's kind of too late now, is... I have made, I, in a Google doc wrote a bunch, I just included like 10 tweets that I wrote in the past that I liked. Okay. These are like actual my tweets. If you want my Twitter account, right? Like I, these are just tweets from me that I liked. Okay. I embedded each of these. Okay. Each of these tweets. Why? Because when I put in a brain dump, I want to find similar tweets that I wrote in the past so that the AI can actually like capture my writing style, my vocabulary. Like, so it knows how I write because the brain dump isn't really representative of like, how I write and how I present my tweets, right? How, what represents my tweets and how I write my tweets is my fucking tweets, okay? So I wanna throw in like say three tweets that I've written in the past that are similar to the, what, that are at least, that are similar topics to what I talk about what I discuss in the brain dump so that the AI can actually learn my tweet structure, my vocabulary, all that shit, okay? So again, we embed each of these tweets, we push it up into a database, just, just like what we did with the definitions. And then from there, we use we embed our brain dump so that we can get similar tweets that talk about similar topics as the brain dump, okay? So if in my brain dump, I talk about tracking AI systems and tracking the results for it, then I'm gonna get similar tweets from my vector store, given that it has tweets in my vector store about tracking AI systems and shit like that, okay? So again, so that the LLM can actually learn about how I like to write tweets about tracking AI systems, okay? On the other side of that, we use an LLM to also generate a hook based off the viral tweets selected, okay? So we give it the brain dump, right? Give it the viral hook from the other post, okay? And we tell the LLM, here's a viral hook, here's a brain dump, take the structure of this viral hook and make a new one based off this brain dump. So, it's gonna, so it's, what it's gonna do is take the elements of that hook and convert it into and use my actual content for the structure of that hook, okay? Once we have both of those, we throw into the LLM to write the rest of the tweet. Reason why I separated these two, because I know a lot of people would have it just generate the hook and write the tweet at the same time. Uh, so again, I like to write my prompts for writing my tweets very specific because I actually wanted to like actually like represent the way I talk and like keep my voice so it doesn't sound like a fucking AI bullshit that you see all the time on Twitter, right? So I use this prompt. I'm, I want you to become a senior ghostwriter for a Twitter creator and you excel at mimicking someone's vocabulary, diction, writing style, tweet structure. Essentially the whole goal of this prompt isn't to like be an expert at writing AI content. It's an expert at copying my tweets. Okay, copying how I write. It's supposed to like represent and make it look like it is me without people knowing it's me essentially. That's the goal of this. So like just copy my writing style, okay? And what I found is that it, I force this, if I enforce this and try to make it write a hook separately, sometimes the hook would like be like a little too close to my writing style where like it doesn't really like copy the structure of the hook. The reason why I'm saying all this is because a lot of times I see people with AI, they try to just have an AI system like do like fucking 10 things at once. If you want the best outputs, Sometimes you just have to break it all up. Have one prompt do this little thing, have this other prompt do this other thing, and just fucking combine the two, okay? So what I'm doing is essentially having it generate the hook first, okay? And then in the actual prompt, I'm gonna say, here's a brain dump, here's some similar tweets, 
Here's a hook. I wrote the start of the hook for you. Here's a hook. Write the rest of the tweet off this brain dump. That way we kind of force the hook to be actually be inspired off those uh, viral hooks from the past. And then we can write the rest of the tweet based off just how I naturally write. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and thank you guys so much.